world. I think the world is waking up or has woken up to the extraordinary realities of what NVIDIA is actually capable of. But just draw a line in this for me and let's, let's just bring it back down to earth here. How much of a performance leap is Blackwell compared to peers and rivals? Well, what they've done with Blackwell is they're saying, you know, depending on the type of application, they talked about 4x performance on training, 5x perf uh, performance increase on inference. These are two types of AI workload. One trains the models that are used to do all this amazing stuff. The other one is when we actually use the model. That's what an inference is. And then the other big thing, and Jensen mentioned it, was, you know, this big reduction in power. It's, let me be clear, it's an improvement in power efficiency. These things still take a ton of power, and that's a, it's an ongoing problem that has to be solved. But the manner with which they're using that power in this Blackwell generation is significantly more efficient. So, look, it's a big step forward. To me, though, what's interesting, and, and they didn't even get into this, he mentioned it very briefly at the end, what NVIDIA also talked about at this GTC show that I was just at was this new software that they're also developing to use along with this. Now, the, the reason why their GPUs have been so successful has been this uh, piece of software, this platform called CUDA. And it's a great tool for data scientists and people who understand it well. But as normal businesses start to deploy generative AI and they want to do great things with all the cool data that they have, they don't necessarily have all that expertise in-house, so they have to make the process easier. So NVIDIA introduced these things they're calling NIMS, NVIDIA Inference Microservices. Um, and basically what they are, they're chunks of data, what are called containers, and companies can use them to make the process of building their own applications significantly easier. And importantly, NVIDIA is gonna be able to start charging people for the software that they use on their GPUs. That's a whole new revenue stream uh, that's going to be coming down the road for NVIDIA. And I think that's the important piece to remember. So Bob, flesh that out for me. What's your thoughts on NVIDIA's capability when it comes to ensuring and extending its lead in the AI hardware and software market in the coming years? So, uh, great question, Dan. I mean, look, and, and Jensen even mentioned this in the interview, semiconductors are huge, and, and, and NVIDIA has a certain piece of it. Right now, they have like 90% share of the accelerated computing part of uh, the servers that are doing generative AI. Now, look, whenever you have 90% share in any market, I don't care who you are, you're going to lose share over time because there are so many competitors going after them. AMD, obviously, he mentioned. You've got Qualcomm. You've got Intel. You've got all the major cloud companies, Microsoft, Google, uh, AWS. All of those companies uh, are working to create their own chips. So that's going to force the market share of NVIDIA down. But that doesn't really matter because the market itself is going to be so big that NVIDIA will still be able to grow on an absolute basis. So it's a long answer to a short question, but the bottom line is they are staying ahead of themselves. At this point, they have to compete with themselves because they are in the lead, so they have to keep pushing forward. They did that with Blackwell, and now they're trying to build that ecosystem around it with software. Talk to me about the performance of the stock. We've seen it quadruple in the last 12 months. Bank of America says it has further to run with a price target of 1,100 USD. What's your view? I, look, I, you know, I'm an industry analyst. I'm not a stock analyst, so I'm not going to talk about the pricing. But what I do know is what they are able to do and how they're able to drive this entire AI industry. I mean, this show, I mean, his uh, keynote was like a rock. Concert. I mean, he's become the, the leader of this big Gen AI movement and people are excited about it. And at the trade show itself that I was at earlier today as well, absolutely packed. So many people there, so many interested uh, people interested in this. And again, now they're bringing it from the world of research and academia and very high end computing stuff into regular companies. So that is a big growth opportunity. And again, by the way, that's just been the hardware. Now we start to bring in this software and I do think they have a lot of a, a long runway to go. And so, but they're gonna have a lot of competitors going after them, right? When you're that successful, you can't help but have a lot of companies start to say, you know, I think we can get a piece of that. And frankly, their customers are also like, okay, look, this is great, but 
you know, everybody wants to have multiple suppliers in some way, shape or form. And so you're going to see some of that happening. But look, you got to give them credit. And, you know, they've been working on this for 10, actually more like 20 years. They've been doing all the groundwork for this stuff for a very long time. And now they're finally seeing that big payoff and it's going to continue and it's going to be hard for other people to catch up. AMD's getting there, uh, but it's going to be interesting to watch. Bob, just super quickly here, Saudi Arabia's AI push with this $40 billion fund, the Saudis have the money, where can they add value? Well, look, I mean, I think there are a, a lot of small companies who are looking for investment. And so a big fund can help uh, with a lot of companies. You've got a little number of competitors, potentially, obviously, to NVIDIA, but you've got all the other components around it, as well as all the other software pieces. So, you know, when you've got that amount of money to throw around and it's focused and you've got smart people running that and making good decisions, they can certainly have a big impact.